Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ. Because it's a little quick to come to you um, <clears throat> with this very short vision that the Lord gave to me very early, well, in the early hours of the morning, really. Um, it's about the young people. And, you know, when the Lord basically called me into ministry, into this prophetic ministry, I've always had a, a heart for the young people brothers and sisters because that is a generation uh that needs <clears throat> sorry to be woken up to come into the knowledge of the truth which is our lord and savior jesus christ so basically in this uh vision brothers and sisters it i basically found myself it was like i was outside a hospital and a young man walked up to me and he looked very healthy you know physically he looked really really healthy he began to say said to me that he's very unwell and i said to him what's wrong with you uh and he, he, he said to me can you please sorry about that brothers and sisters my little son wanted me uh so basically he said to me uh could you test my urine and for some reason i had what you call a dipstick in my hand i don't know where it came from but i had this dipstick that tests uh urine to see if there's an infection or any bloods or you know any glucose sugar or whatever in the urine so i found myself with this dipstick uh to test, test urine in my hands and he handed me a sample of his urine brothers and sisters and when i dipped the little stick into his urine to get the results Brothers and sisters, everything on the stick that should say negative is off the Richter. Every single thing was counted more than positive. Uh, from blood in the urine to sugar in the urine to infection, everything was, was, was green. That was all the writing, uh, the, the, the reading that came up, even though uh, if in with dipstick, those of you who are in the medical field with dipstick, obviously, you know, it comes up green if you've got blood or so in the urine. Uh, if you've got infection, then it comes up purple or something like that. But every single reading was green. It was all green. And I said to him, what is the matter with you? And he said, I think I've got a sexual disease. And straight away when he mentioned that, brothers and sisters, when this young man mentioned that he had a sexual disease, in my spirit, the Holy Spirit began to download with, to me and said that this sexual disease is a hybrid or hybrid uh, type of sexual disease that will affect many young people. And when the Holy Spirit began to say this to me, I did not say anything to him. And I said, what, is, what are your symptoms? And he said, I think my kidneys are packed up. Now, with the sexual uh, hybrid disease, brothers and sisters, in this vision, uh, it was affecting young people. This thing was affecting majority of young people, and their kidneys were giving way in, in numerous amount that you cannot count. Uh, I've never seen it. I mean, it's a vision, but <clears throat> if this should happen in real life, which I think the Lord is showing me that there's going to be a sexual transmitted disease amongst the young people that's going to be very, very hard to deal with. And it's going to affect the kidneys, brothers and sisters, whatever this disease that the Lord showed me in my vision, uh, it is coming and it is going to affect the kidney we know that there's a lot of things out there that affects the kidneys we know that but this particular disease brothers and sisters that god showed me was really really bad i then saw another young lady and she came up to me this was outside the hospital and she was crying and i said to her what is the matter and she said i think i had unprotected sex and i caught something that i don't think there's any cure for and she began to cry and I said, what are your symptoms? She said, it's my kidney. So this is two young people in the vision that came up to me concerning a sexual hybrid 
uncontrollable disease that will plague the young people. Brothers and sisters, we are in the time of the end. Promiscuity, uh, you know, lasciviousness, the lusting, you know, just the undiscipline amongst the youth where sexual perversion is concerned is striking. And this thing in the vision, it was not between heterosexual young people, it was in the homosexual community. So this sexual disease was affecting both the homosexuals and the heterosexuals within the young group of people. Brothers and sisters, those of us who have wisdom, let us warn our young people. If you go to church, you have youth groups. I wouldn't mind if you play this video to them just to warn them something horrible sexually it is coming uh, i don't know you know <clears throat> we know that the government is wicked and they always make things in the lab labs anyway we know that but this thing brothers and sisters that hit this cohort of people the young people was very very bad extremely extremely bad and it affected their kidneys the kidneys become almost like jelly as it was melting away and they were dying because the guy the young guy no more than 18 19 in the vision he was dying and he knew it and i knew it i didn't tell him but in my spirit i knew it but he also knew it because whatever is caught is hybrid so please let us warn our young people. Let us bring them. You know, society today will say, here you go, here's a condom. Use a condom and go and have a good time. But we as the body of Christ, we have to bring you into the knowledge of truth, which is Jesus Christ. And he can keep you. You know, he can keep you from promiscuity, from sleeping around with Tom, Dick, and Harry, or any other, you know, people that you feel like it's okay to test the feel. But whilst you are doing that, you are opening up your, you are opening up yourself to one, demonic attacks and influences, and two, sexual diseases. And something horrible is coming in that community in between those in that cohort young people it's gonna be very bad so this vision basically brothers and sisters it is a warning vision amongst the young people like I say you know if you've got youth clubs if you've got young people in church you do youth services i don't mind if you share this vision or direct them to my youtube channel so that they can see this because this is really really serious it is coming and i had this in the you know the break of day really when the lord gave me this vision concerning the sexual promiscuity can i ever pronounce that word amongst our youth we need to keep them in prayer we need to pray for our young people because this Satan is busy. He's very busy in this cohort. The Bible says, young men, I call upon you because you are strong. God loves young people. He loves them very, very much. But it's a generation that is rebellious. Uh, Jesus called them a generation of vipers. So we have to bring them into the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and show them the right way not to teach them the Babylonian system because God will he God will um, hold us accountable if we teach our young people the Babylonian way it's okay to have multiple partners try the field try this go out date this guy date that girl whatever God is gonna hold you accountable you have got to teach them the biblical way, the biblical stand as a young Christian in the Lord and help them uh, to recognize truth from lie because deception is very real. So I just wanted to come to you 
and just release this vision that the Lord gave it the Lord gave to me this morning concerning a sexual hybrid wicked disease that will come and it will plague the young people the kidneys will be will be affected so god eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus precious holy name amen and amen amen blessings amen